Hey everyone, in today's video, I'll show you a quick method of installing Netbox using Docker Compose. Well, in very simple language, Netbox is an open source web application designed to manage and document network infrastructure. So it provides a centralized repository and create a detailed inventory records for the network devices like IP address, racks, and other related data. However, it is gaining more popularity because of its powerful API, which is helpful for automation and integrations. Since Netbox has a complete information about network like device IP, port information, etc., it can act as a source of truth for creating dynamic inventories for tools like Ansible and Terraform. So as shown in this diagram, we have a Netbox, which is populated with all the network devices, which can be then feeded into tools like Ansible for creating dynamic inventories and Ansible can push those updates to the network devices using the playbook. Another interesting feature of Netbox is its CACD capabilities. So in this scenario, Netbox can be configured to send a webhook notification whenever a new device is added. So then Jenkins, a popular CICD automation service, can set up to listen all incoming webhook notification from Netbox and trigger a specific job whenever it receives the notifications. And finally, Ansible Playbook can be written to retrieve the information about the new devices from Netbox and generate the device configuration based on the predefined template and push those configuration to the appropriate network devices. So these are the important concept and the usage of Netbox, which we are going to cover in our future videos in detail. For today, we'll focus how to install and run the Netbox server on a local VM machine. From an application architecture, so Netbox servers has multiple containers or the microservices. And all these containers are chained using something called Docker Compose. So enough about the theory now, let's dive in and learn how to install Netbox. So first of all, we need to install the Docker, which is a popular container runtime environment. It's super easy to install with just few commands. I have tested them in Ubuntu desktop versions, and I'm going to put those commands in the installation guide, which you can find in the descriptions. So here we have done the installation part. We can check its status by running the docker ps and the docker info command. All right, now we have the docker up and running. Let's go ahead and install the docker compose. So docker compose is a handy tool that enables us to define and manage multi-container docker applications. With it, we can specify the service, network and storage that are needed for our applications in a single YAML file. We typically call it as docker-compose.yml. So to get the latest version, we can head over to the Docker Compose GitHub page for the installation instructions. So once the installation is complete, let's verify the version by using the command docker-compose version. All right guys, we have installed all the prerequisites. Let's jump into the Netbox installation. First, let's head over to the Netbox community GitHub page and select netbox-docker repository. Here you will find the information about Netbox versions and other important details. So what we are going to do here is we will clone this repository to our local system. For that we will use git clone command and the repo path. Well if you are interested to learn different git commands, you can check out this link for additional commands. So now the repository has been cloned to our local system. Now let's navigate to the Netbox directory here. You will find the files and folder related to the Netbox installations. But let's specifically focus on docker-compose.yml file here where all the docker compose details are defined. So this file set up three major services Netbox UI, Postgres database and Redis. An important tweak we need to make here is the port mapping. By default Netbox run on random port but we can fix to a particular port by hard coding the port details on the docker compose. We are going to set port 8000 on the docker host which forward the port number 8080 inside the container. So let's save these changes. Next we'll run the docker compose pull to pull all the necessary docker images from the docker hub. This might take few minutes depending upon your internet speed. So here you can see it has downloaded all the images what we have defined on the docker compose command. 
Now let's run the docker images command. Here you can see all the three images listed. It's stack, image ID, created date and the size. So we got all the images downloaded on our machine now. But we have done the docker installation, docker compose. Then we have downloaded the image. We pulled the image from the docker hub. Now let's bring up the service using the docker compose up command. So during this process, docker compose will create resources like network, volumes and attach the services to them. Finally, we can check the status of our application with the docker compose ps command. So if we zoom a bit, we'll see the port numbers on which the services are running. For example, the netbox bi service is running on port number 8000 on localhost, which forward to the port number 8080 on the docker. So before we continue, let's create a super user account using this command. This will give us a full administrative access to the netbox. So that's all we need to do from the installation standpoint. Now let's jump into the browser and test our access. So we have to enter the host IP address and the port number. And we can log in using the credentials just created. So there you have it. We are now logged into Netbox UI and ready to explore its features. And we will dive deeper on this on next video. And thanks for joining today. And if you find this helpful, don't forget to hit the subscribe and like button. And see you on the next one. Stay awesome.